The annual ritual kicked off at various Muslim praying grounds across the state. Eid el Kabir, also known as Salah, which is the festivity of sacrifice and of the final rites of the celebration in Saudi Arabia. The report. As early as 8 o'clock, Muslim faithfuls in Kaduna State trooped to the Eid prayer grounds. His message, the chief imam of Central Mosque, Kakuri, Sheikh Jibrin Ibrahim, emphasized peace, love, and unity as he enjoined Muslims to be mindful of their utterances, especially now that the country is facing serious security threats. Others insisted on the need for all to shun religious and ethnic biases. The whole year and what really happened here, I urge all our people here, our community, whoever so wishes, whoever has a means and the will, should go and sacrifice his salam today. This is the day for sacrifice of ram. God says this is the day he likes to see blood of ram flowing all over. Feeling very excited. I'm happy because it's a yearly something occasion. I'm very happy. And then I see our brothers and sisters. We are here to celebrate Eid al Kabir. Alhamdulillah. I'm wishing them Eid Mubarak. Very, very happy to see my family and my friends and the mocks, everybody. I'm very, very happy. After the eight prayers, the Sheikh slaughtered a ram, which signifies the sacrifice offered by Prophet Ibrahim. In Kwara, Muslim faithfuls in their large numbers joined their counterparts across the globe to observe the prayers amidst every security presence. Focus of speeches are on unity and development of the country. Let's be our brother's keeper. We all have hope in this country, and this country is going to... May Almighty Allah continue to be with us, protect us, and uh, most importantly, may Almighty God protect the, um, the new leadership that we have at the federal level, as well as um, the governor of Kwara State. And we continue to pray that the Almighty Allah should give us the benefit and accept our sacrifice as a means of ibadah, that he will accept it. Meanwhile, the Emir of Ilori, Alhaji Ibrahim Zulu Gambari, cautioned idol worshippers within the ancient Ilori metropolis against desecrating the city and its environs, saying the city is an Islamic community inhabited by peaceful people. Despite the rainfall in the early hours of the day, many of the Muslim faithfuls in River State gathered for the open-air special prayers called Salat al-Eid. Speaking with newsmen after the Eid, the chief imam of River State Central Mosque, Abdul Malik Yahaya, called on Muslim faithfuls to continue with the love shared during the festival. The Qutuba was strictly adhered to the teachings of Al-Islam as we commemorate the Eid al-Adha. Eid al-Adha simply means the festival of sacrifice. So the significant is all revolved about thanking Allah tabarak wa ta'ala and being merciful to God Almighty. And in that, we believe that uh, Almighty Allah having spared our life to witness today, there's need for us to be grateful and be grateful to him. And that is the message that we we'll tell to the people today. Some other Muslim faithfuls who spoke to our correspondent said preaching unity and peace remain the panacea for peaceful coexistence and citizens should abstain from unlawful acts in all they do. Authority should serve and not to be served. When that is done, then you see that they will roll out programs, programs that will best serve the interests of the people. The most important prayer is for peace, love, and harmony. If there's no peace, there will be, there will be no leadership. If there's no love, there will be no be peaceful coexistence among the people and the citizenry. The Muslim Ummah in River States never had it so good like this. And uh, we want to thank the synergy between the the Muslim community and the government of River State. After the prayers, Ashaykh Alawi, the Imam of the Ogbogoro Central Mosque, 
in Yenegua, Bayasa State, said God honors the act of obedience, which is the significance of the day for the Muslim community. This celebration is how Prophet Abraham was about to slaughter his son, Ismail, because he gets it in the dream. So Allah brings a ram to sacrifice instead of, instead of Ismail. There is a celebration that we are doing today, Eid al Doha. And that is a celebration. He gives every human being that really Almighty, Almighty God has power to do something which man is not expected. Others who spoke to Plus TV News thanked the state government for providing resources for them to celebrate this year's Eid al Kabir. They also highlighted the importance of Hajj, which is one of the five pillars in Islam. To celebrate this Eid as a mark of that festival. Uh, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and at the same time uh, we will thank the state government, this, uh, you know, uh, uh, His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Bayelsa State, you know, for carrying us along. We will perform Hajj in Makkah and after Hajj we will abide there in Hajjana, which is heaven. And today is the tenth day that pilgrimage has spent in Mecca. Uh, what they actually go there to perform is sacrifice. In Imo State, Muslim faithfuls also gathered for the Eid prayers. <laughs> The chairman of the Muslim Council of Nigeria, Imo State Chapter, Bashir Uwakwe, enjoined all to pray for the success of President Bola Tinubu's administration. Bola Tinubu, whom Allah have chosen to be the president of Nigeria, the 16th president of Nigeria, that may Allah Almighty give him all the wisdom to pilot the affair of this great country that is full of uncertainty, insecurity, corruption, hatred, suffering, and a lot of it. In Makodi, the Benue state capital, the prayer ground was crowded as faithfuls prayed for the peace and progress of the country. The sacrificial ram was slaughtered as an act of obedience to God. Alhamdulillah, you know, government, the other government has passed which all the country had expected a good government from Tinubu government. And the we, we the people, we should help him with prayer. With peace, you can achieve anything. So we are praying to the new government that came. Uh, let them try their best to make sure that we have peace in, in our Ambedo state. Because without peace, you cannot work. Without peace, you cannot farm. In Adamawa, Governor Amadu Umaru Fintiri of Adamawa State and the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, joined other Muslims at the Central Eid Ground in Yola to observe the prayers. After the prayers, Governor Fintiri moved to the government house where he slaughtered his sacrificial rams. He then proceeded to the palace to receive salah homage from traditional title holders. I hope and pray that our prayers today will lead us to peace, prosperity and development in the country and Adamawa in particular. Uh, it is our fervent prayer also that we will continue to coexist uh, for the overall existence of this country because uh, we need this country. Nigeria is bigger than an individual and uh, we will continue to build our peace and prosperity. In Oyo State, Governor Sheyi Makinde played host to Muslim leaders in the government and the People's Democratic Party in the state. The governor appreciated the Muslim communities for remaining peaceful in the state, despite attempts by overzealous politicians to sow the seed of division. They were peddling a lot of uh, rumors, a lot of... Uh, Yes, misinformation, misinterpretation of uh, things. They were trying to push on your states, you know, towards uh, uh, a religious uh, division.
רואה איזה קאש לס נאו, רואה איזה... יש, הוא אמר שהם היו פרינטים ניו נוטס, שהם היו פרינטים את כל הנאות נוטס, מה אנחנו עושים עכשיו? אתה יכול... Use your power, use your position, use your influence, and say, look, I will do this. But if God says, look, I will not leave my people. He advised public office holders to always allow God prevail in their decisions and policies. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.